Let's take a look at our 27 stock to find buying opportunities. Tesla is down $14.50. That's down 7.16%, close at 188.14. That's not good. Post market, we seem to be down by a further 54 cents. So let's take a look at what we have here on the chart. So we had identified two buying opportunities right here for Tesla, which led us to some paper profit. But look at this, it just cratered. I had set my stop loss at 191.46, so I am out. So I tapped out on that one uh, with a little bit of a loss. What can I do? We cannot win them all. And uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, if uh, this continues, we could be going back down to 180.38. Let's take a look at the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, we bounced on 187.45, which was a previous support that we had in the past. Did the VIX cause this? Uh, not really. You know, VIX is up 2.74%. That's not uh, that big. So uh, the culprit is not the VIX in itself. So some are suggesting that Tesla is down is down on bad Chinese delivery numbers. So uh, the reason for the sales falling is as simple as the Chinese Lunar New Year slipping into February versus January last year. That leads to production shutdowns closed stores and fewer car sales. So the year over year comparison is not valuable this year. So basically, uh, this is just a calendar glitch that maybe has, uh, has scared people away. So, you know, I'm telling you the stock market is not all that logical. Uh, the 10 year bonds, the 10 year bonds are coming down. So this should be helping and the US dollar is maintaining itself, but we don't have stochastic. So this should be continuing down. Let's take a look at our stock and disease. So uh, stock and disease, you know, if you look at my watch list right here, everything is in the red. Huh? So not a good day. So uh, Dow Jones, uh, a little bit down, but still in the bullish channel. So that's still fine. S&P 500 above support. So that's fine. NASDAQ still above support. That's fine. BYD still above support. Big move down. The pattern is intact. Last stochastic, though, so we'll see what happens. Rivian caving into the downward resistance. Expang, you know, we had the move outside of the congestion zone. Move outside back, we are back into it. I am not suffering that either, so I'm out of that one. Neo uh, above support, but now if we go lower than 529, then uh, this is not going to be pretty. Let's take a look at the Magnificent 7. Wow, look at this, you know. Called it Apple. It was a short or last Friday, you know, at the end of the day, this was a short, you know, this is cratering incredible. So uh, Apple has been fined nearly 2 billion in Europe of your music streaming apps. So, you know, this was not helping. Amazon still above support. So Google is, is just continuing going down. Meta above support, not too bad. Microsoft, you know, this is nice. Huh? Microsoft did not break a resistance at 4.15.25 on Friday and did not close above it today. NVIDIA doesn't give a shit. So NVIDIA just uh, climbing and climbing. Could not break outside of its bullish channel, but that's fine. Arm, a little bit of a move down, but uh, still above support at 1.37. Palantir just uh, going sideways. AMD, uh, you know, this is not the this is not the best candle. You know, this is a candle that tends to indicate that things are going to fall down. We'll see. Uh, so far today, it's up one point thirty four percent. SMCI, you know, this stock is absolutely crazy. I I just added it here, and you know, up one hundred sixty eight dollars eighteen percent. Gold, boom, we have the big move, uh, uh, you know, big move, big move. It looks big, but this is 1.6%, but, you know, a significant move because this is where we used to stop at 1611, and now we are not stopping. So buyers are willing to pay higher for gold. This is significant. Silver, look at this, boom. Silver was a laggard, but now it has been awakened. So if it goes over 802, then... I might get in. Bitcoin, boom, continuing 7% higher. This is quite crazy. 
Ripple also going higher. We wanted to break 66 to really start uh, moving further. Neo battery material continuing its fall. And Nouveau Monde Graphite. Uh, after this big move, now people are collecting profit, I'm assuming. So uh, this is coming down. And Novonix uh, looking good, uh, still above 231 on the bullish channel. Now we'll see what's happening. If the sales in China, people start to wake up about it, uh, we'll see if it's going to have an impact on the stock. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.